Hello everyone, and welcome back to Ice Ice Outpost, where we are currently crawling through the underbrush, watching as a little arctic wolf, look at how cute he is, as a little arctic wolf pup actually climbs about and gets ready to play with some of his pack mates. <gasps> look at how precious this wolf pup is, oh my gosh, we do need to go, oh! did you see that little howl we do need to come in and we do need to be able to research this our little wolf pack that we have here in ice ice outpost and make sure that they're doing well and we also need to take good care of all of ice ice outpost look at this place it's huge and it has been so long since we have actually come here and spent some time in this little village. We have our tiny little village of Shepherd's Nook uh, that we built up over time with all of the buildings being named after some of you guys and some of our patrons who decided to come and live and try to make a, a life out here in what is basically the Arctic wilderness. And so far they've been doing a pretty good job, but things have definitely gotten out of hand since last time we've been here because we kind of have like a bunch of Siberian tigers who are just roaming around the place right now. You gotta be a little bit um, flexible on the different animals that we've run into. Oh, look at the little cubs. Oh, they're so precious. You have to be a little flexible about the geography of some of these animals, but they're moving around due to climate change, and I'm sure that's why we have tigers here <laughs> in the, uh, you know, the Arctic. But, oh, look at them. Oh, I'm glad to see these tiger cubs are doing well. But we have a lot to do, especially because I have returned once more to try to do our best with a new challenge, my friends. Ooh, and Cinnamon the Siberian Tiger. <gasps> Look at that! Oh, it's so exciting to be a, a zookeeper and a ranger in Ice Ice Outpost because we have so many gorgeous animals who call this place home. And I really do want to do our best to go ahead and try to turn this place into a beautiful zone. It is one of our earliest of all of the places that we've ever built in Planet Zoo, so it could definitely use a little bit of TLC. But as usual, I love to keep along with some challenges while we are exploring in Planet Zoo. Okay, and a dangerous animal has escaped. Cinnamon, okay. All right, I see how it is. Oh, she just came up here. You guys need to like stop worrying so much about stuff. Here, I'll go ahead and block her from being able to come up here next time. Oh, geez, and there goes the other one. <laughs> okay, Ian, Ian. All right, look, guys, I was coming in here to be a serious scientist, okay? We were going to do serious things, and we were going to, like, focus on researching the Arctic wolves. The fact that we are literally juggling Siberian tigers is not my fault. It just happens. You gotta expect these things when you come to the zoo. <laughs> or when you come to our outpost, I should say. But all right, we have a lot to improve. However, we do have a challenge that I'm going to be focusing on and trying to, you know, navigate and mitigate all of the chaos otherwise. And that challenge is currently a really cool event called Howling Harmony. Release 60,000 North American animals to the wild. Can you hear the beautiful harmonies of the timber wolves? How about the roar of the grizzly bears awakening from hibernation? No? Let's change that. Release timber wolves and other North American animals into the wild this week. And we're going to be trying to do that, including getting some timber wolves as cough cough role play sled dogs for the people who live here in this Arctic wilderness. And we're going to see how far we can get. If we're able to get ourselves all the way up to, uh, like, mm, we'll make like a bronze. Bronze will probably be like getting the t-shirt and the shorts. And silver will probably be releasing like 20 animals, and gold will be if we manage to get gold on this challenge. Then we will also give ourselves a wolf statue in our zoo crafting series, which I have been talking about doing with all of our past challenges in Planet Zoo. But I would really love to be able to learn more about this beautiful little place that we're building with Ice Ice Outpost. I would really love to be able to learn more about the animals that are in here and also complete this challenge. Uh, hopefully we'll be able to make that happen. And we're gonna begin by checking in and making sure that the Arctic wolves are doing well. And then I think since North American animals include the doll sheep, we will definitely need to have a lambing season come up pretty soon too. But first things first, let's make sure, oh, the springbok is about to interbreed. I don't think so. We're gonna send that goat 
And if you're not here for the roleplay, not sure why you're here, but I hope you're having a good time. But we're going to go ahead and send that goat out for some conservation credits. All of these albino spring brock we like to imagine are security goats. Is that a dead goat? That is a dead goat. Oh dear. I think the first thing we need to do if there's diseased animals afoot and so much like happening is we need to go ahead and hire ourselves a brand new vet who can run around and take care of things and snowball some the wolf oh look she's curling up next to the little cub and she's about to die of old age snow blossom no quick oh oh no i wasn't able to look at her her family chart oh no Okay, yeah, we definitely need to go ahead and we need to hire a new emergency vet because there is a lot happening over here. Oh, these poor people just witnessed that too. There is a lot happening here that we absolutely need to go ahead and take care of. Oh my gosh. All right. And as usual, all of the staff that we hire happen to be some of our amazing patrons. And holy cow, thank you so much to our patrons. With all of the uncertainty with YouTube lately, it has made such a humongous difference in my and Chip's life to know that we have that little bit of, of stability that's starting to really get there. And I'm, I'm sure if the Patreon continues to grow, then I will really be able to just focus on creating these adventures. There are so many of them I still want to tell with you guys. We are so close to 9,000 videos. My dream is to get to 10,000. And I just know that with your guys' help, we're going to get there. So thank you very much to our patrons. And we're going to come in here, and we are actually going to be adding in a new vet. Yeah, she's removing the carcass of the spring rock. Oh, dear. But this is going to be our new vet, Silver. So we're going to go ahead, and we're going to call her Ranger Silver. Um, in fact, we'll call her Expedition Ranger. There we go. And a disease is now life-threatening. So we're going to get her training up. And we're going to imagine, guys, that we just landed, like, in the little biplane here in Ice Ice Outpost. And I think we need to tackle the disease. We absolutely need to tackle, like, this terrible disease outbreak that is just all over the place. And apparently over here, I think Ollie's accounting notes? Yeah, apparently our accountant... And I'm going to pause just for a second so that you guys, I can explain this to you. Uh, but we like to say that here in Ice Ice Outpost, as a little roleplay village, all of the exhibits we have are actually supposed to be like uh, buildings and businesses. So this is Ollie's accounting notes named after Ollie, one of our wonderful patrons as well. And some of these guys will also be named by, uh, after all of you guys, when you leave comments in our comment or in our videos, and then the random comments picker picks you, especially the animal names. Um, and so if Ollie's accounting notes is full of all of these animals, then when we go ahead and we pull them out, and send them to the trade center, we say that that's like income that Ollie's accounting ser like service has earned us. So let's come over. Oh my goodness, it's been so long. I feel like we landed and we're like, ah, do you sm smell that fresh mountain air? Yes, any minute now it's going to begin snowing and be extremely refreshing. And then people start running out of the village screaming and begging for help. Like, that's what it feels like every time we do this. All right, we need animal storage. I actually need, oh, exhibit trading. Huh, it's been so long. All right, let's select these. And Ollie's accounting has pulled in $5,000 in benefits and then right over here mayor librarian's library mayor librarian's lending library has gone ahead we'll send all these guys to the trade center Ooh, look at these yellow anaconda anacondas oh we'll have to have somebody do something cool with yellow anaconda soon and there's wayne and wayne you are in there i think we can go ahead and sell all of these others you're in there with Wyatt, and Wyatt's also gold level. We'll have to get a new one so you're not related later. But the library has also pulled in a thousand, almost two thousand dollars. Very nifty. At least we managed to put that fire out for just a second. All right. Meanwhile, Christmas Joy and several of the other animals are getting very sick. I think we need an emergency vet area. Do we have a... We do have a vet hospital, actually. It's right over here. Shepherd's Mansion. So the vets can come into Shepherd's Mansion to treat any of the animals who are needed. 
But if we have that many diseased animals around, we might need to go ahead and add in a new shepherd's hut. Let's put it over here, I think, and then we can put a garden down over here. But we might need to add in an emergency shepherd's hut. I guess we've been called back for this emergency, honestly, guys. They're like, quick, we need help. There's Arctic staff building, Arctic vet and quarantine. Oh, that's actually perfect. What we need is a quarantine center for sure. Oh, look, and that actually has like everything we need right here. And it fits in more or less perfectly. We just need to move things slightly. All right, we'll do it. Now let's go ahead and move this tree over. Oh gosh, look at the beautiful little path we have here. All right, let's try to move some of this stuff. Not that, please. Oh, this is lovely. I can't wait to get more of that caribou moss just absolutely everywhere. Like, we need to take care of the animals? Caribou moss. That's going to be the answer. All right, let's do a tiny little staff path. Right over here to connect this up. Let's do blue. There we go. So people will please not walk over here and get completely irate at us. And then we need to put that into a new zone, don't we? All right. Oh, it's been so long. That's all right. We can do this, friends. All right. Snow leopard tracks, I think, might be... Those are the habitats. It has been so long. The work zones. Glacier wilds. Sheep and goats. Let's go ahead and include these into the sheep and goats territory so that we can have some of our staff run over here if they need to. There we go. And then what else do we have? Glacier Wilds covers this area. We'll also include this just in case. We have Shepherd's Nook. I'm going to go ahead and allow Shepherd's Nook to include all of this. And then also all of these. Which probably will start sending people into Polar Wilds covers that side with the polar bear. And there's just Work Zone 6 with the chocolate shop. We'll deal with that later. <gasps> Holly, the Arctic Wolf has just had offspring! Oh, to replace maybe Snow Blossom's children who have passed away. Oh, see? We're needed here, friends. There's going to be a lot to do in order to make sure that the wolves are doing well. And in order to make sure that they can really start thriving. But we're going to make it happen. And in fact, to help out with that thriving... <gasps> And our polar bear! Our female polar bear is about to mature! Oh, that's so exciting! Alright. Oh, look at her! We have emergency landed back at Ice Ice Outpost to put out all the fires. Definitely not needed in an Arctic area after all. And we're going to do our best to take care of everyone. We'll have a lambing season. And hopefully that will put us up on this challenge that we're going to be tackling to make sure that we can have plenty of success. Look at this little one. With the Howling for Wildlife Challenge. And if we manage to get there, we'll even be able to maybe do something special in our crossover zoo crafting series, which holds so many memories of all of the things that we have achieved over the years. Oh, look at her. She's going to think about growing up, I think. We'll come back to her in just a second. In fact, let's go ahead and we're going to name her. So let me pull up a name from the random comments generator using the comments that you guys have left in previous videos. And we're actually going to name her Molly. What a lovely name. Molly with an I. Oh, welcome, Molly. You're going to be a very happy polar bear, I promise. And you guys do please leave names. All right, Christmas Joy. I should have a vet over here. All right, what about Timble? Let's call it vet for Timble. Yeah, vet in root, vet in root. We should have a keeper definitely keeping this place clean. Because I, I could swear that we've already discovered that disease. Let's check in on any of the research that the vets have been doing. Oh my. Siberian tiger research, completely done. Quilter patches, expedition, ranger silver. Yeah, the active disease is this Campylobacterius. And hopefully it'll go well. The snow leopard is now expecting offspring. When it rains, it pours here, friends. When it rains, it freaking pours. All right. I think we might have a bit of a cinch down on the diseases that are going around. Somebody is protesting. We've got to figure out where. Okay. Where are we here? They're protesting. Oh, hey, buddy. 
Oh, yo, Timo, how did you get stuck up there? I think they're protesting that the wolf got stuck. There we go. So we have people who care. Yeah, now he's all better. There we are. Okay. Oh, geez. And now it's night. Sometimes the sun does not set for very long in the Arctic, though. All right. So what do we have over here? All right. It looks like we actually have... Yotimo, I think, is trying to get to his own area. Yeah, look at him. He's already ready to snarl and try to fight. And he is not a silver or bronze or gold level. So I think Yotimo is actually getting chased out because Howl, his father, is here. And he has a bunch of siblings. So he's not going to mate with any of them. And I have a feeling that he's just thinking that it's getting a little bit crowded in here and he wants to find a mate of his own. So let's actually go ahead and we're going to release him into the wild. All right, there you go, Yotimo. Yeah, look at that. A little bit too much tension between the Arctic wolves because they want some space of their own. Woo! Oh, and look at our wolf mountain. Oh, it's been so long. Oh, Moose Rock. <gasps> Do you guys remember Moose? We need to name the healthiest child that these wolves have had Moose when it's a girl or when it's a boy. We've got all girls right now. So, all right, Howl here. She is an old girl at 16. And she, I think she has a mate. She has Nanook Evergreen, Alana, and Am Amraku as her children. And then she just had Nanook and Apluk, Apluk, who we'll go ahead and rename soon. But I think that means that the eldest of her daughters probably wants to go ahead and Evergreen probably wants to find her own place. Especially if she's listed as Alpha. Oh dear. Evergreen, who did you have children with? Wait a second, Evergreen? Evergreen, you aren't supposed to breed with your dad. That's definitely not supposed to happen. And she's actually Alpha here. I didn't expect that. Okay. Hang on, let me, let me see if we can puzzle together everybody's relationship. So Evergreen is the current alpha with Howl. That's right. Which means that I think Alana would probably... There we go. Look at these two. Are these the sisters? It is. It's the two sisters. You know what, guys? I think these two sisters would be ready to go out and to find a place in the wild themselves where they could have mates of their own. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to have these two sisters, just like their brother, head out. There we go. I might leave the eldest sister just in case her siblings need an adult because their parents are so old. Let's see. Let's check on both of the little pups. Oh, look at them. But no, a put is pretty healthy and she is already 2.7 years, so she should be plenty old enough. All right, then we're going to go ahead and let Amo go and find her own home out in the wild too there you go sweetie and that leaves us just with these lovely lovely arctic wolves oh look at them ah and i think a healthier pack i know it may seem odd when some of the wolves leave but it really does keep the overall pack healthier to be able to have that space especially to have that space that allows the the other adults to get enough food to be able to feed themselves and any of their offspring. All right, and I think that may have actually gotten us. Yes, all right, and that actually got us straight up to unlocking a t-shirt. There's silver level. So if we get to eight, then we'll get silver level. And if we get the t-shirt and just the shorts, then we definitely will have at least, um, at least bronze. So let's aim for the shorts next. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at that, it's a wolf t-shirt, cool. And apparently the snow leopard is about to have offspring herself. And we have even more pups that we need to study over at the other Arctic wolf area. And wow, do we ever have a lot of places where we can improve how things look. But all right, guys, I think here we are getting ready to have a little snow leopard born. I'm pretty excited to see that happen. Oh, look at how nice it is just to watch her rest. 
But I'm really excited to be back in Ice Ice Outpost. Everything's on fire. That's normal. I have a feeling the security goats are, or excuse me, ahem, the goats are going to be driving me absolutely mad again. But every time we come here, I cannot help but fall back in love with these amazing animals and the world that we all share. So let's turn it into something really beautiful that we can be proud of. I think that's a great goal to have. And of course, I'm going to need your guys' help next time in welcoming all of the little babies to our zoo. Or excuse me. Oh, there's two of them. We have two. This is not a drill. We have two itty bitty little snow leopard. Look at the snow leopard babies. They're so freaking cute. Oh, look at that, you guys. All right. And I'm going to need all of your guys' help in welcoming this new life into Ice Ice Outpost and turning this place into something really beautiful that can inspire all of us to care about this world that we share. So, if you guys could do please leave a like to join us as we begin, at the very least, our Arctic wolf researching and lambing season with the doll sheep. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends... Oh, Where'd the baby go? <laughs> Stay curious, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.